Hi, welcome to Wise Guys. And dilution calculation too. This session, I will show you uh, using a formula to calculate the dilution problem. <clears throat> the formula is M1 V1 equals M2 V2. The M1 represents the concentration morality of stock solution. So in this formula, M1 and M2 is talking about molarity. So M1 is the concentration of stock solution in molarity, and V1 is the volume of stock solution. Because by definition, we know the molarity equals number of moles of solute divided by liter of solution. So M1 multiplied V1 represents the number of moles of solute in stock solution. And M2 is the concentration or molality of diluted solution. And V2 is the volume in liters of diluted solution. So M2 multiplied V2 it represents the number of moles of solute in diluted solution. And put them equal, that means the number of moles of solute in stock solution equals the number of moles of solute in diluted solution. So when we do dilute, so the most important thing is the solute never change. So that's why the solute before dilute you call the solute after dilute, right? So let's look at the three questions. And the first question is what is the molality of a solution prepared by diluting 30 0.0 milliliter of 5 molality potential chloride to 120 milliliter. So every time you working with dilution problem, you need to identify which one is more concentrated. And the 5 molality 30 milliliter. So this is prepared by diluting 30 milliliter of 5.0 molality. This is talking about stock solution, right? This is a, and then you can check. This is 30 milliliter diluting 30 milliliter to 120 milliliter, right? So that's why this is a high concentration, and after that you got. The, low concentration. So follow the formula, we write M1 V1 equals M2 multiply V2, right? Multiply, multiply. So if we talking about M1 V1, it's talking about a high concentrated. So we can put 5.0 molarity is 5.0 molarity and multiply V1 which is 30.0 milliliter and equals to the final volume is 120 and the M2 we're looking for what is molality after diluting. So multiply 120 milliliter. In using this formula, the advantage is V1 and V2 you put the same unit. So it doesn't matter milliliter or liter. So if 30 milliliter, then this is 120 milliliter. So both have the same unit. So they can be canceled out, right? If one is milliliter, another is liter. So you need to change the same unit. So in this situation, we cancel milliliter with milliliter. So we're looking for the molality 
So morality M2 equals 5.0 times 30.0 divided by 120 because milliliter, milliliter cancel out. The unit is morality, right? Because the 5.0 morality. So that's why we can calculate the final concentration. 5 multiplied by 30, which is 150, divided by 120. We got 1.25. So after dilute 30 milliliter potassium chloride to 120 milliliter, and the morality is getting lower, which is 1.25 morality, right? The next question, let's see. Question two, what is the morality of a solution prepared by adding 25 milliliter of water to 10 milliliter of 0 0.400 morality potential hydroxide solution. So first write down the formula M1 V1 equals M2 V2. Then we identify because you looking for what is morality of solution prepared by adding 25 milliliter water to 10 milliliter of 0 0.4 molality potential hydroxide. So 10 milliliter of 0 0.4 distilled together, right? Because after adding water, the concentration getting lower. So you put 0 0.4, 0, 0 molality, what we have V1, which is 10.0 milliliter. And the, the molality after diluting, we're looking for. And the V2, you need to pay attention. V2 is the liter of solution or the milliliter of solution in this question is okay. But what is the volume of diluted solution? Because they add 25 milliliter of water to 10 milliliter. So now the volume is 35 because 25 water plus 10 milliliter solution total is 35. So this is 35 milliliter, right? So this is because you cannot say, oh, this is 10, this is 0 0.4. And this is 25, just to plug a number in, you need to read the question, adding 25 milliliter water to 10 milliliters. So the total solution, the volume is 35 milliliter. Then 0 0.4, 0, 0 times 10, which is 4, because we're looking for molality in milliliter, milliliter can be canceled out. 4 equals M2 times 35, so we can have M2 equal 4 divided 35. We can find the answer. 4 divided by 35, we got 0 0.114. 0 0.114 morality. Because we have 0 0.400 morality, which is they want to keep three sigma figure. So the answer should be three sigma figure two. Okay, the last question is using dilution procedure and how many milliliters of 12.0 morality hydrochloric acid stock solution are needed to make 3,000 milliliter of 0 0.1 molality hydrochloric acid solution. So still using this formula, M1 
tan v1 equals n2 tan v2. Then we need to identify which way and n1 v1. Because they say how many milliliters of tall morality HCL are needed. So and also say this is tall morality and the final make 0 0.1 morality. This is diluted. So if you put 12 here, and this is V1, and you got 0 0.1 morality on the other side, right? Because this is a morality, this is morality from high concentration to low concentration. And, and what V1, V2? So this is a, to make 3,000 milliliter of 0 0.1. These two numbers add together. So actually 3,000 is V2. Milliliter, right? So how many milliliter of this one, which is V1, you're looking for how many high concentrated solution you needed to make low concentrated solution. So after set that formula, then we can working with this one. So we have V1 equals, also we're looking for V1, which this is a milliliter. So you also get the milliliter later. And so morality, morality can be canceled out. So this on the top, 0 0.1 times 3,000 milliliter and divided by 12.0 morality. So V1 equals 0 0.1 multiplied 3,000, you got the 300 units and divided 12.0, we got, you can calculate, you got the 300 on the top and divided 12 you got 25. You got the 25 milliliter. That means you need 25 milliliters of high concentrate and which is 12 morality hydrochloric acid to make 3,000 milliliter of 0 0.1 morality hydrochloric acid solution. So this is presented by Wise Guys. Thank you for watching.